All right, so taking a look at these dies, uh, we have two different styles. These are both rigid, and they are noticeably different. This set here has a notch both top and bottom, and this side, or set, only has a notch on the top. Now that notch corresponds with the keeper on, on here. So what that means is that these dies can be put the other way in the die stock. Um, so to look a little closer, you can see we have our dies here, and they're timed. They have to be timed. One, two, three, four. You can see starting and threading. One, two, three, four. But if we turn them over, like we'd put them in the stock differently, well now they're not timed right any longer. Because you can see this one here, which is actually the three on the other side, is actually the shortest. So what you have to do is you have to change the order like this and there you go there's your starting thread the next one and the next one so that's just a interesting little thing there where these dies are timed and the indexable ones here that you can reverse are actually one and three you have to swap them so these dies do not have that marking underneath because they don't have the notch cut in here. So another difference between the two dies is this one has a more defined chip raker in it. Uh, it's got this little piece in here that I think is designed to break the chip. So there you go, a little bit of a difference between dies uh, in these rigids. We're going to get these back together in a stock and I think I'm going to set up a stock with these in backwards and we'll see how they work and what some applications of that might look like, why that might be advantageous. So we'll keep moving along with, uh, with our Die Hard series, just a fun little snippet there. Okay, so we're continuing with these two different uh, rigid 3 8 dies. Uh, we painted one blue, one and one red. Uh, the one that's red is in, uh, put together the conventional way. You can see here that the dies are tapering inwards towards the collar down there. So when you we would slide this on over the pipe, and start your thread. So that's how that one's assembled. Now the blue one is assembled differently. The taper is towards the front. Now the advantage to that is if you needed to start something um, that was shorter and you didn't have the ability to put this long collar over the, uh, the pipe, you could start your threads or chase your threads if you're cleaning threads on something this would be also a good uh, tool for that because if it's short threads and you just need to chase them this would be a good good tool for that so since I had two of these I decided I'd set one up one way and one the other way and then I just know by color which one I'm grabbing so just a little fun there for our die hard series some differences and how you can set tools up different ways. I would imagine trying to start this would be a little difficult because you don't have the advantage of this collar to keep you straight on the pipe. So that that would be difficult there, but hey, any port in a storm, right? So um, I could definitely see situations, especially these smaller I think these are the 00, zero rigid heads, 00R zero, zero probably because it's rigid. They're pretty small die stocks, dies in there. So that's pretty handy. Right there we go. 
knocking out more of these dies around the shop pretty much soon we'll have everything restored so there we go a few more for the die hard series keeping on <laughs> <laughs>